part 14, Cube Roots. You will find this on page 17 in the Namibian Mathematics Grade 8 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's first go through the theory. Cube Roots. The cube of a number is the product when three of the same number are multiplied together. Recall that 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. This can also be shown as a diagram. Look, this diagram will not be two-dimensional, but will be three-dimensional. A cube of side length 4 cm has a volume of 4 times 4 times 4, which is 4 to the power of 3, which is 64 cubic centimeters. If we are given a cube with a volume of 64 cubic centimeters, the length of its sides will be the cube root of 64, which will be 4 centimeters. We say that the cube root of 64 is 4. The reverse operation of cubing a number is called finding the cube root. I think this diagram will really help you. So if I take a number and I find the cube of it, I will get 64 if the number will be 4. But if I want to reverse back to this 4, I will take the cube root. And then I will take the cube root of 64 and I will get 4. So the numbers 0, 1, 8, 27, 64 are cubes of whole numbers and they are called perfect cubes. The next example show you how we can find the cube root of a perfect cube by using prime factorization. Let's look at example 12. If I asked you find the cube root of 216 through decomposing into prime factors, I do not want you to use a calculator. I want you to do prime factorization. So take 216 and break it up into the product of its prime factors. I can again do method 1, whereby I divide it into equal parts, but I make sure that I have three of that part. So 1, 2, 3. And then it's to the power of 3, and I can just take that 3 and divide it by that 3, and I will get 2 times 3, which will be 6. I prefer sometimes this method, because... I just write it in index notation and then I just take all the indices and I just if say 3 divided with that 3, 3 divided with that 3 and I will just get 2 times 3 which will also give me 6. I want you to do try now 12, stop the video and I think you can only do for me number A and as soon as you are finished you can continue the video. Okay. Let's start. If I ask you find the cube root of 1728 through decomposing into prime factors, I will just take 1728 and I will break it up into prime factors. So start with 2 and I will get 864. Continue with 2 and I will get 432. Then continue with 2. And I will get 216. If it ends on an even number, you can continue with 2. And then I will get 108. Continue with 2, and that will be 54. Continue with 2, and that will be 27. And now I have to continue with 3, and that will be 9. And it's 3, and it's 3, and it's 3. And I will continue until I have a 1. Okay. So basically, if I want to do this now, I will just say, if I want to take the cube root of 1728, indicate it's the cube root, then write it in index notation here. So just 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 2 to the power 6 times 3 to the power of 3. I prefer to do method 2. And then I will just do the division. So... Take the index, 6, divide 3. Take the index, it's 3, divide 3. And I will have 2 to the power of 2 times 3. Multiply this together. So it's 2 times 2 times 3. And I will have an answer of 12. You can take your calculator and test it with your calculator. 